Before we get into today's video, I need to remind everyone you must do your own due diligence, take it all as entertainment. Guys, I'm not a financial advisor. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Yeah, coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not. What's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to Buy Wholesale. I hope of course you are all well. Uh, today's video is following on a bit like how we started last week. We're going over some of the old stocks just to let you know that I'm still involved in them. I haven't forgot about them. It just hasn't been much news on them guys. But the market's starting to pick up. We've had good rises on the ones that we talked about last week. And the mining stocks picking this one up because it's in the same vein guys. This one is on ABML. Guys, you know all about it. Covered it many times on this channel. American Battery Metals. This video today is just going to talk about some of the recent news articles. We're going to have a look at the charts and we're going to talk about the big catalyst coming up and why I believe this penny stock has a big future ahead but before we get into all that good stuff guys can you please like please subscribe it really helps me grow this channel I really appreciate every single one of you that are doing it hopefully monetization won't be too far away um, and I'm looking forward I've got a few things in, in mind for when we, when I get my checks in from Google um, I'm tempted to put that back into a society maybe you know charity stuff like that there because I don't need the money guys I'm doing this purely for from fun entertainment um, aspect of things so the sooner I can get the, the Google checks coming in and start giving a wee bit back I'm looking forward to doing that guys but here that's for another day so American Battery Metals guys you know all about it I've talked about it all in the other videos here here's the link here and you can go back in chronicle order and have a look into them before a high level overview for those that don't know American Battery Metals is, is pretty much an American company that do mining extract and battery recycling especially lithium ion and now that is the reason why I am involved in this but like the stocks we've talked about before um, I'm looking into lithium big lithium plays battery recycling because that is going to be the future without a shadow of a doubt we're seeing the EV play starting to play up we're starting to see the rise of obviously Tesla really brought it to the forefront over the last sort of 18 24 months with so the rises that they've had but we're starting to see all the other plays now you're switching on your TV you're seeing advertisements for all electric vehicles so it only makes sense that as the demand goes up i.e. people start buying more and more of these cars I mean it's they're still very much fossil fuel diesel petrol cars on the road right now combustion engines once that moves all the ev it's only natural that the lithium is going to go up plus i think abml are doing something special in battery recycling guys you're going to have all these batteries you're going to need to be able to get them recycled but that is a long hold because we still have to create the batteries we have to use the batteries and then we have to recycle the batteries so anybody looking for a quick one this mightn't be the stock, but it is a penny stock with huge catalysts, which we'll get into. But let's have a look at some of the more recent news that has just come out. So this first article, guys, is an update on the move to Nevada. We've talked about this in the previous videos, guys, but it's just a little update that it has moved into the 13.8 acre property located um, in Nevada. Um, the parcel, which is part of the Tahoe Reno Industrial Park, known as the largest industrial park in the world, guys. Um, so... ABML, and you can see a picture of it here. They've moved in, guys. And I say ABML, ABTC, which is going to be the new ticker symbol because they're changing their company, which again we've talked about in the previous videos. They're changing their company name to suit more what they're doing, and they're changing it to American Battery Technology Company instead of American Battery Metals. Then the next article that came out, guys, on June 17th, Fernley City Council unanimously approves American Battery Metals Corporation's conditional use of permit of lithium ion battery recycling pilot plant. So they've got to go ahead from the council, guys. It's not a surprise to me that that's happened. But again, it just shows you there's another step and it's a closer to having that Nevada factory. To skim over it, guys, the latest endorsement takes the company one step closer towards uh, permitting and construction. It's first of its kind lithium ion battery recycling pilot plant in Fernley, Nevada. Earlier this month, the CUP was unanimously support approved by the City of Fernley Planning Commission. The conditional use permit advances our progress towards constructing our trailblazing lithium battery recycling pilot plant, said American Battery Technology Company Chief Executive Officer Doug Cole. An industry game changer, the pilot plant will blast their Fernley's economy, create new jobs and deliver a sustainable solution to enhance and secure our domestic supply of battery metals. So like, big dog knows the crack guys. He knows he's getting excited about it. I'm getting excited about it. Or you getting excited about it because it's happening, guys. Let's look at the charts now and see how well the stock has performed recently. Guys, as you can see here, you know, we've had highs of about $4.50 um, once upon a time at the start of January. But like most stocks, guys, with the market, it got a wee bit crazy. Everything kind of pulled back and this was no different. It pulled back quite hard 
um, and we've seen those guys right down at under a dollar a share now. If anyone's picked up shares of that, they're laughing right now. Other people maybe have still got, you know, bought at the height. Either way, guys, I don't think it really matters. Um, I definitely think this is a stock that you need a dollar cost average into. Know your limits, put as much in as you feel comfortable doing so, and we'll ride this right up. But this is a long haul, guys, can't stress that enough. But we can see here, if we zoom in, from the lows of the 21st of April, um, over the last month, it has went up. It's all went up considerably, and if we actually pull up um, from the lows, um, even to, well, to the highs, we were up in and around 166%, but right now we're sitting at 120% up. So anyone that's caught that sweet as a nut, you're laughing. You can see that the volume um, was increasing there, and then the next big rise, we've had increased volume. It is dipping. So I'll just draw a few lines there. We can see that we're in a nice little channel. We're kind of been going up and down. We're at, we're at the heights here. We're down at the lows, guys. So it all really, really depends on what happens. If we look at the day chart here, we can see that the MACD's crossed over, and it looks like we're gonna go on a downtrend. So I would say that on come Monday, it's a real interesting time to see um, what happens. I would be looking for confirmation before buying anything, because it could fall down below this year. But I suspect, based on the other stocks that we covered last, week the mining sector seems to be really throbbing at the minute you know we've talked about prem last week and kodo the mining sector's doing pretty damn well at the minute guys so it would be interesting to see but i'd be looking for um consolidation i'd be looking sorry for confirmation just on, on monday to see what happens because if it does fall we could really break out of this but we've been in this for a good month now so um, you know if i was a betting man i would say that we'll we'll get a nice bit of volume and this should go up hopefully all being well on monday or the early part of the week if we go to the technical analysis then on trading view guys you can actually see here that right now based on the one day chart it is a buy buy all the averages and all that is saying buy the oscillators are saying neutral if we go to a week guys again buy buy neutral and then on the month guys it's a strong buy buy i mean you have to take that with a pinch of salt guys it's just you know an average pulled in together it's a high very high level but it's all indicator in the right direction and that's the main thing if you go down the description below guys you'll see loads of different links for many different things have a look at that you'll also find my great uh, writers article that i did that your boy featured on uh twice i've actually featured the writers but i'm not promoting that what i'm actually trying to do is advise everyone to spread their risk we we'll talk about diversity on this channel and the importance of your portfolio, maybe being diverse. So when you know it, when things go down, you've maybe got things pulling it up and all that. And that's very, very important, but it's just as important to have your money spread across multiple brokers. And the good thing about that is you can maybe have things that are outside out of mines, for example, American battery metals, you know, your long holds, you can put in one account. So you don't have to focus on it, don't have to see what it's doing. The main thing as well is to spread your money. These new platforms have only been on the horizon for the last couple of years, some of these. You know, what happens if tomorrow trading 212 goes bust or they t you lose your money or whatever? You just don't know what could happen. And yes, you're covered by the FCA, but you're only covered so much. And could you imagine the hassle of trying to get that money back? It would be a nightmare, guys. So do what I do and spread your money across multiple brokers. I have five different brokers on my books with money in every single one of them. Some for crypto, some for long holds, different things. But the idea is have my money spread, minimize the risk, and that is my advice, guys. So go down and check out. I've got a couple of ones down there. Free trade, free share up to 200 pound, guys. Colmax Pro for your day trade and swing trade. Different brokers, guys. Good to check them out. Okay guys, that's the video, bit of a roundup. I just want to talk about a high level review then of the big catalyst that I can see maybe moving this or shifting this penny stock. So we've talked about the new factory. That's probably one that's maybe in and around the next year's time, but there'll be catalysts along the road like we've seen today that could get it moving in the right direction, which could speed up or get you a little bounce. So we've got that, we've got that. We've got the name change, guys, to technology. That is going to be a nice little catalyst. I don't see it doing too much to the share price, but it's a new, the branding and it's a step towards the company that you're investing in for the future. We've seen the charts, there's a wee bit of consolidation that's been going on, it's been going in the right direction, it looks to be going to the bottom of the channel, perhaps we will get a bounce, so that could be a nice little short term in the next week catalyst. We've also got them trying to move on to the NASDAQ. The NASDAQ is gonna be a huge extra exposure for them guys and a bigger market, so that is gonna be a huge catalyst. If they can get that through or any word on that, that is gonna be huge. And lastly, guys, alongside, this is just my own thoughts now, but alongside the Nevada factory and battery recycling, you do have a big sort of well-known company called Tesla that would need recycling of their batteries. Now, Tesla is very advanced and they might be doing this in their own house down the road, who knows? But it does make you think, big factory, cross the street, Tesla, don't know guys my only thoughts would not be banking on that one as a catalyst but you just never know guys could you imagine if that was to be announced 
this could become a multi-bagger very, very quick. So look guys, it's a long hold. It's a very hot penny stock for the future. I have no problem averaging into this more and I will do it, if, especially if we see it fall through that channel on Monday or during the week, I will be topping up more on ABML. Until then though, I'm just happy sitting back, relaxing and enjoying the ride for now guys. That's the video. I hope you have found it informative. If you have, please like, please subscribe. Help me out. That really helps me. And until next time, guys, enjoy the rest of your day and I'll catch you tomorrow. Peace. Yeah. Coincidence. Yeah. Coincidence. Something that happens by chance, I think not.